Beyond Grenade and you're watching Beyond Grenade today and we are back with another Foundation Friday. If you guys are new to my channel, I post new foundation reviews on Fridays and I post curly hair products and other random stuff on Sundays. So I hope that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. But today we're going to review one of my old time favorite foundations, which is the CoverGirl Queen Collection All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. This stuff right here, I used to use this for probably at least a year. Didn't try anything else. This was the best thing for oily skin. The only downside was it was only sold in like one Target that was an hour away from me, but I actually would drive and go get it because it was that good. And if I didn't do that, I had to order it online and I'm impatient, I don't really like ordering stuff online. So it was just so hard to love you. The main reason I stopped using it was because I thought it was discontinued. And then I randomly went to a Walgreens one day and I saw the whole line there. So I don't know what happened. It might just no longer be sold in Targets, but it is at Walgreens right now. Select Walgreens and I found one. So I drove there just to get another bottle. So without further ado, let me put this on and show you how well it works. All right, so now we are zoomed in up close and personal. Let's cover up some of these flaws, shall we? So I'm going to be using a beauty blender. And I think back in the day, meaning a couple years ago, I don't even think I used a beauty blender to apply this. I think I probably used a brush and that worked fine. But now that I'm all about beauty blenders, that's what we're gonna do this time. And I don't even know if I used a primer before and it worked amazing. So I'm gonna use a primer today. I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Makeup Primer. This is my first time trying this as well. Um, but I've heard amazing things. That's the hard part about these foundation reviews that I've learned is that there's so many factors. Like what if the foundation's good, but then the primer's not? Or the primer's amazing and the foundation sucks. Or your foundation and your primer are bomb, but then your powder ruins everything. You know? So just a couple things to keep in mind with these reviews. The best thing for you to do is to try it yourself and experiment. I'm just here to give you some extra insight. So in this bottle, it's a glass bottle with a pump. It has one fluid ounces, and I'm going to just put a little, oh, unlock it. I'm going to put a couple pumps, maybe just one. Oh yeah, I forgot how this even goes on. This isn't thick at all. It's very, very lightweight. So that one pump kind of got like half my face, but I am going to need more. Now this might look a tad too dark for me. Um, I just got the color that I used to always use. I might have gotten a little bit lighter in these winter uh, seasons, <laughs> but I will make it work. Okay, so I did have to use a couple pumps to have it cover my whole face. So I wouldn't say that a little goes a long way, but you know, you get there eventually. Now one thing that I definitely remember about this foundation is that once it's on, it's almost like it's permanently on. I can get a white piece of paper and I can go like this. It is not coming off. It's not creamy, so it's not gonna leave you dewy. It's just, it's, it's permanently on your face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face. Easy as that. If only. Alrighty, I love the finished result. It does look very natural. It looks like my skin and it doesn't really feel like I have makeup on. It's not heavy or cakey at all. But because it is so skin-like, it means it's very permanently painted on your skin. And I use the word permanent because I learned in the past that if you make a mistake, you're kind of screwed. I remember when I used to do a wing liner and then if I messed up and then I used a Q-tip and some makeup remover to fix the wing, it would then obviously take off the foundation. But then when I go back and get more foundation to cover it up, it wouldn't blend well with the first coat. It would just go on as like a circle and you couldn't really fix it. And that used to drive me crazy. I also learned that you cannot cry with this. If I would go to the movies and I would watch some sappy movie and I would cry, I would have permanent tear marks 
on my face. And if I tried to get more foundation, it wouldn't cover up the tear marks again. I don't know why. This is a one-time flawless finish. And you have to stay flawless all day because if you cry or you mess up, the world's just gonna know. So let's go over all the pros and cons. Pros, I love that it has a pump, so it makes it really easy to dispense onto your beauty blender, your hand, or whatever brush it may be. It also has a wide range of shades for girls of color, dark brown type of skin tone. And that is something that's actually pretty rare, so I'm really happy with the shade selection for this. It does give you good full coverage. It feels really light. It doesn't feel sticky. It isn't cakey. It doesn't transfer easy onto any other clothing or whatever you might be rubbing up against. It has SPF 20, so if you are out and about in the daytime, you're getting some protection from the sun. And it also has a very matte finish. It will not leave you shiny. So I'm starting off the day on a very matte looking skin, which is how I have to start, because I know how I might end up. Now the cons. Cons, it's in limited supply. This is not at every store like most foundations, which sucks. You can order it online from Target. If you have a Target credit card, you do get free shipping. Um, I personally have seen this at Walgreens. I don't even know where else. You're gonna have to do some research. But if you can find it near you, you are golden. It does dry very fast, so once it is dry, it is set, and you can't really continue to blend that out. So I did have to use a couple pumps to cover up my whole face, but it did work out fine in the end. And if you do have a lighter skin tone, the CoverGirl Queen collection might not have a color for you, but there is still a CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation that probably does have your shade. This one in particular was about $9.50, so it's about $10, which is not too bad, still in the drugstore foundation family price range. And yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about it. I already know that I'm a fan of it, besides the fact that it's not the most blendable, but the proof will be in the pudding when I come back in a couple hours and we will see how shiny or not I get. So my foundation went on at 1.30. I'm gonna come back in a couple hours and we'll see how it looks. All right, it is now 11 o'clock p.m. So I've had on my makeup for nine and a half hours. So this is where we are. Still have full coverage. Got a little shiny here once more. So let's do one last blotting strip. And that's how much oil I got. But like I mentioned before, I don't expect any foundation to magically fix my oily skin. It's all about who can contain it the most. And I'm happy with this level of oil containment. So those are all of my thoughts on the CoverGirl Queen Collection 3-in-1 All Day Flawless Foundation. Definitely recommend it for those of us who have oily skin and have a darker complexion skin tone. It's worked great for me in the past and it still worked again for me today as long as you can find it. If you wanna know what foundation I will be reviewing next week, make sure you follow me on all social media at Ms. Bianca Renee on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I also post new foundation videos every Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday. So I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.